time right now, 6.53. Let's take a look at the stories that we're following this morning. We start with Way 31's Rania Ross. We will get to Rodney. This morning, we are expecting to hear from local officials after Jackson County report, reports its first coronavirus related death. The Alabama Department of Public Health says the woman was a part time worker at the Jackson County Courthouse. We learned she died at a hospital in Chattanooga. The woman's co workers were notified of her positive test results, but the incubation period from the last day the woman worked has passed. The Jackson County Courthouse is closed until April 6th. Sierra. Huntsville Hospital has a new mobile clinic. It's on a bus. There's a nurse practitioner on board or a doctor on board. The idea is to get to patients that can't make it to their clinics on John, at John Hunt Park or on Governor's Drive. Pat. All right. Well, this morning, the General Electric Appliances plant in Decatur is temporarily shut down. This comes after one of their employees tested positive for the coronavirus. According to a statement from the company, the employee has been quarantined, and anyone who was in the immediate proximity was notified and asked to self quarantine from home. This morning, the Huntsville drive through coronavirus testing site will be open again. Patients do not need a doctor's note to be tested. The clinic at John Hunt Park on Airport Road will open at 9 this morning. There's an on site physician to evaluate anyone who does not have a doctor's note. Marie? The number of coronavirus cases in Alabama is growing. Less than 30 minutes ago, we learned there are now 440 cases in the state. That is up from 386 from last night. This, of course, is according to the Alabama Department of Public Health's coronavirus dashboard on their website. That's what you're looking at right now. 69 cases are here in North Alabama. 36 of those are in Madison County. Right now, there is one death. Coronavirus linked in Jackson County. And this morning, we're learning two teachers in Madison County tested positive for coronavirus. One teacher works in the Huntsville City School System, the other in Madison County School System. School officials say, based on when the teacher in their district, we're talking Madison County, had contact with the school system, the final date of concern should be Saturday. That's March 28th. Carson?